Hi I'm James and in this video I'm taking a look at a game that I've had requested quite a few times and which is currently on a free weekend which is Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, we're taking a look at this on Intel HD 620 graphics on a KB Lake Core i3-7100U and we are running this at 1366 by 768 on the minimum detail settings. Um, first of all we're starting off with the built-in benchmark for the game and through this whole test the average frame rate is around about I believe uh, 26 frames per second. The opening scene has quite a low uh, minimum but it does seem to pick up as it goes through. Even so you do bottom out around 20 frames per second even later through the scene. Um, the benchmark is also quite short um, so we've just had it run through the once here and we'll see the results in a second. Because the benchmark is so short, I've also run through and done some gameplay from the first training mission in the title. Um, unfortunately, I haven't really played this before, um, so I'm not don't do particularly well. But it just gives you an idea of frame rates you can expect in the actual gameplay as well. Once again, typically mid to low twenties. Um, it does fluctuate above that in places, but it's. It's going to be okay, say, if you play Terrorist Hunt online with some friends or you're just getting... you just want the occasional game online. Um, but when you're playing against people with more powerful computers, um, you are going to be at a bit of a disadvantage just in terms of, you know, the Twitch response, um, which you're going to lose out if you're, you know, playing competitively online. That said, the title does run. Um, so if you are desperate to play it and you have a... KB Lake based machine then you can at least give it a go particularly at the moment as it's on a free weekend. I hope you found this video useful and um, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel for gaming on Intel HD 620 and other platforms. Let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see tested in future and be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching.